Welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews. I'm Radar. Special K, and tonight we're doing a Sierra Nevada beer. We have Sierra Nevada, Sunny Little Fang. It's part of their Little Fang series. Uh, we have, this one is a citrus wheat ale. So, Blue Moon. Mm-hmm. We got a bunch of these while we were on vacation. Yeah, we. Uh, this is the last one because oh, we tried it? to review it a couple times and we kept yeah. failing miserably. That is, oh, yes. it's got ice in it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, Prepare yes. Prepare yourself. That looks delicious. My God. So this one is, <laughs> it's the perfect temperature. Oh my God. Where it has just, just a few tiny, <laughs> just a few tiny little ice flakes in it. This That's what great. I'm talking about. 5% alcohol by volume. Just a hint of orange and a little weediness to it. Mm -hmm. Head is it's sticking around. White. It's yeah, so very white. white. Like I said, it's got a tiny, it's got a few ice flakes in it, not a ton, but it's got a nice, it's going to be good. It's going to be good and cold. Right. Mmm. <laughs> yeah. You sure you don't want to review this again later? <laughs> that is a good cold beer. Um, it's very reminiscent of Blue Moon. Not quite as sweet as a Blue Moon. I would say slightly more citrus forward and less fake orange. It's a little bit hoppy as well. Yeah. Well, it's, it's, it's more hoppy. Yeah, not by much. Um, yes. Oh, yes. It's got some grassiness. I don't, remember, I don't remember if I said the last one was grassy or not. It's a pretty, um, I'm going to say a pretty neutral beer. Hmm. If you're looking for a beer, you're trying to get into craft beers, you want something that's not an IPA, um, this would be a good one to go with. Or if you're a Blue Moon drinker and you want something a little less sweet, mm -hmm. um, this would be the way to go for sure. If you're one of those people that don't put an orange wedge on your Blue Moon, then you might want to try this. And it's about the same price too, isn't it? Eight ninety nine for a six pack, which is pretty good. That's actually, that's cheaper, isn't it? It's about the same price, give or take. A dollar. Anyways. You get, on, get on sale or not, you know how it is. It's roughly the same price. And it's, it's something different if you're getting tired of your standard wheat orange beers. The more I drink it, the more orange forward it is, I'll say that. It doesn't have any peel in there, it's just pretty orangey in general. Um, let's see here. It's just the pulp. The can is like all the other cans on the series, mm -hmm. so it has that uh, weird explosive design is the easiest way to describe it. it looks like little bubbles on them it's the same as wild little thing hazy little thing um, just a different color i'm curious to see what they're going to come out with next oh. on the series they could literally just put any word in front of little thing and just do it they could have they could have the dark little thing and have like a brown ale <laughs> they haven't done a brand so far. It's been it's been they did a sour and then they did an IPA, a hazy mm -hmm. IPA, and then now they did a wheat beer. It makes sense to do some you sort do, of brown uh, ale or some sort of a um, Bach, a Bach German little thing. Yeah, <laughs> a German little thing. That'd be good. <laughs> we should just we should be on their their ideas team. Is that a thing? An ideas I team for a business. Not for us. Nobody. Send us money and we'll tell you what you should make. Right. <laughs> so it's time for a rating on this beer. Um, it's pretty good. Price is really great on it. Uh, I think I'm going to go with a seven and a half. I'm going to give it an eight. This is an eight. This is delicious. Um, As it warms up, it's far more orangey on the nose. Mm. I kind of want to say go ahead and get yourself a six pack, but I also want to say go ahead and get yourself two six packs. As far as I know, it's only available in cans. So mm -hmm. the little, the hazy little, little things, or the little things here is only available in cans, which I appreciate. Cans stay cold far better. They're far more efficient when you're putting them in coolers. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they're they're not exposed they to the light. Fit in coolers better too. They're not, yeah, they're not exposed to light. They fit in fridges better. They just fit in stuff better. A lot of people say, oh, they're worried about metal or metal flavor in the can. That's not a thing since they started putting liners in the cans a long time ago. Mm -hmm. So you don't really have to worry about that. The cans are like conditioned now so that doesn't happen. This is the hill that we'll die on. That hasn't been Fair. like, yeah, it's been like the <laughs> 80s. Now, I will say this. A lot of people think that um, they're like, well, they're like, well, I got one last month. I'm like, if the can is damaged, 
then it could damage the seal. So if I take this can and launch it against the wall, and there's a huge dent in it, there's a good chance it might have damaged the inside of the can liner. You might get a little metallic flavor. Or I have a cousin that let a Budweiser roll around in the back of his, a bunch of Budweiser roll around the back of his truck for six months, put them in a cooler and drank them. He's like, oh, these taste like metal. I wonder why they taste like metal. They've been rolling around in the back of a truck exposed to Kentucky heat for six months. Doesn't that sound delicious? Sounds like a staph infection. I think they might have even been, some have been partially frozen at some point too and heated up. I mean, <laughs> that's the worst thing I've ever heard. I know, right? It's, it's, <laughs> that's so bad. Uh, you know, cans, I love cans. I think Quite cans are superior to bottles. I don't really buy bottles anymore. I don't mind a beer Unless their product only comes in bottles. Same here, or I, I like bombers for like, mm -hmm. you know, like 16 or 24 ounce bottles for specialty beers. I prefer buying those over like a six pack because mm -hmm. you know you're getting more beer. It's enough to split between people, but it's not, you know, it's not going to break the bank. And they're oh, generally yeah. going to be a little bit cheaper than buying the whole six pack. I like getting bombers from, uh, from distilleries, mm -hmm. not distilleries, from breweries. I oh, know, I get what you're saying. You go, you get a bomber fill. It's usually cheaper, and sometimes, not always, the bomber, the the glass. Bottle is actually just included with the price of the fill. Are you talking not, about a growler? Not so with growlers. Yeah. Usually you've got to buy the growler. Yeah. Uh, and it, it runs like three to five dollars for a growler. Yeah. But sometimes the bomber bottles are free. Now you can also they also do the cans now. Remember you can get mm -hmm. the um, the can, some breweries have crowler. Them. Crowlers. Are yeah. Great. Yeah. We did a whole video on crowlers. Uh huh. It's a shame that you don't see them more often because uh, they're, they, they're they super cool. Yeah, I mean, it seems like, I, I think it seems like a better, it keeps your beer longer. Like, as opposed to a bottle of growler, a growler's going to last you like a week. Like if you half. don't open it, mm -hmm. not even a week. Uh, if you get a growler, you can get a, you can get two, three, four weeks out of a growler. Or if, you have a, if you're if you fancy like us, you have a pressurized growler. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Would you recommend this beer? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to say get two six-packs because you're going to need both of them. Like, not immediately, but you're going to need them. Yeah, I'd recommend it. Go ahead and get you a six pack for sure. Uh, any of the uh, the hazy little thing, any of the little thing series, I'd recommend getting any of those beers for sure. All right, well, that has been our episode. If you'd like to see anything else on the channel, you can leave a comment down there. Don't forget to hit that like button. I'm Special K, and I'm Rita. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.